What is up card fighters and welcome back to the Prime Vanguard channel. I hope you're all having a great day. I know that I am. Today's video I'll be reacting to the third episode of Card Fight Vanguard World Dress Season 2 Episode 3. From the last episode if you have not seen it you may check that out down in the link description below so you guys can get caught up with the storyline and where we are at. Michiru and Ginka have finally met up to have a little chat but this chat will be set up with the cards. I'm so excited to watch this episode, you guys. I can't wait to get started. Now let's get into it. Griffo Seed, Julius Draco Kid. Doesn't belong to any nation. Okay, so the whole nation thingy. I'm curious, you know, well, I'm, I'm sure that he doesn't belong to a nation. I'm sure that once you pick support from any other nation, because you, you're going to have to, because the Dragon Tree cards, from what we've been revealed so far, they all belong to at least one nation, so every nation can take advantage of it. But I'm sure that he's going to have to pick a nation when playing the deck and stick to it. I highly doubt they're just going to let, you know, this be an extreme fight deck. Two flames. Interesting. Okay. Dark States. I chose to use your nation this time. Hmm. So the Calamity cards, I'm curious if those do anything, because he keeps putting them into the soul, so they, and they all aren't the same card, so do you need to have like, do they do something later, or not? And that Griffo Seed continues to keep the 2k power up every time you get one of the souls, so therefore it matches up number wise with some of the regular cards you're writing up. Yep, I figured it would be on the his first great three turn. <laughs> you know what's funny about this whole thing? <clears throat> Is that Michiru was, like I've said in my previous reactions, he's always been like the oddball character or the coolest one. And he finally ran into someone who's weirder than him. Because <laughs> since the first episode that uh, Ginka, I think his name, Ginka, Jinga, whatever um, his name is. Uh, since the first episode has been introducing when I did the English dub reaction, I always said he was like a, an oddball character. And now Michiru finally met someone who's weirder than him, so... He's gotta kind of be normal now. You return three clammy cards to see. What's gonna happen? Oh, this animation for a summoning. Dragon Tree of Ecliptic Decimation Griff of Gila? Griffo Gia or Gila? Gila. Why is it grade 10? Does it have like, is this going to be like a Gize thing where it has like 27,000 base power? Oh no, it says 13. Okay, so it's just a high grade for no reason. Ooh, that's concerning. I'm going to let premium players worry about that because it is a grade 10 card. So I, I, already can, I have a few ideas in my head already that can take advantage of that. Not abuse, but can take advantage of that. They're not peers. That's interesting. Okay, 
Guarding really hard there, Michiru. Well, again, I mean, for the sake of the anime, Michiru doesn't know what the card does, so therefore, he has no idea what's coming next, and this is the first time he's seen it. Okay. Okay. Right, he got Persona right set up for next turn. Perfect. And then Draw Jewel's effect is active. Okay, so this is going to be a really good power turn. But he only has one CB because he didn't take the damage from the last one. Mm, I don't know if I like that guard now, Michiru. Why did you do that? You would have had the other CB open for the Rock Argor to push harder. You would think against the deck that you don't know you want to finish the game as fast as possible because you're not trying to survive whatever they could do. Because you don't know if they can kill you on their first, on his like next creepy turn. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot that Draw Jewel doesn't cost any CB. It's just the Soul Blast 4. No, wait. It does cost a CB because the first skill is... The first skill is social He didn't use any CB prior. Okay, that was my fault. It, it's just the, the model of Aura threw me off because that cost a CB to use its skill. So I didn't... I wasn't paying attention. This is giving very Ren Suzugamori season one. Another dragon tree marker. That's pretty good. Clean sweep. Yo. Free board removal. Okay, so there it is. I was like, those dragon tree markers have to mean something. <coughs> he gets critical and all those units on the market can fight your power. So this is actually a pretty aggressive deck. Why is he removing those? But I, I'm sure that there's going to be something more because he is removing those. Another draw trigger. Right. He is trying to buy time, but honestly, I'm sure it has something to do with him removing those order cards. That's why it must lead up to like a bigger skill. Swear to God, guys, other than some like the order cards and the dark state cards, I don't know what the grade 10 does. I, I really have no idea. I was going to watch this and I finally had time to watch it today where I was going to figure out what the new cards do because you know that's usually how I get my card info from the anime or I wait till uh, Facebook to tell me something. But he got Persona Ride and Double Rock Argor. But damn, this sucks because his formation is really weak and his opponent has been playing a lot of defensive units in the deck that I've noticed. He's playing Asher Da. That's a 15k shield. That he, uh, no, that's a 10k shield. Now up here, that Steam Maiden grade 2, that is a 5k shield bonus from your 5 or more in Soul. So it's been like multiple defensive units. 
Okay, he PG'd. Heal trigger, that's good. No trigger, Paladin Dragon. And he got a draw trigger. So he got to add to his hand. Damn, that sucks. Shrider with a skill and the Dragon Tree Marker. That's an old one. So that's the third one he's removed. Griffogilia has a crit, so that's why you couldn't take it. Critical trigger. Gungrum's gonna be at 23,000. He's still going for rear guards. That sucks. That's his third rock Argor. That's part of his offense gone. And he's only got Ristal Galer and a critical trigger in hand. It's pretty obvious that you're building up to something. So we know from the drive check he's got a 5k and a 15k shield in hand. He drew one card, which we know is a PG, he doesn't. He has to push for game here. But he can't, he doesn't have arc, he lacks the power because Rock Arbor doesn't have that CB. Okay, retire brainwash. Rock Argor gains 10 KBs using the Soul Blaster form more during the turn. That's why I was able to do that. What is it, Persona Ride? Nope, it's not Persona Ride. Place a Dragon Tree Marker. Shrider's Boost. Gun on the So now everything on his board has plus 5k, and his Vanguard. His Vanguard got what? You get 5k for every marker you have, right? Okay, good defensive. You have the OT in your hand. Oh no. Okay. Shoot powers are unleashed. Full board restand minus the Vanguard. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. What? You just get free OT like that? <coughs> And then he already had the critical on it, so he must have pulled a critical trigger from his twin drive. No! Yo, that is crazy. Wow, interesting. Ristock Gaylor. Wow. That is, that is going to be interesting. Well, you guys, that is the reaction to episode three of Card Fight Vanguard Will Dress. We are now have a 
Griffogalia and an Apocalypse archetype introduced into Vanguard. What do you guys think about this? I think that based off what I've seen so far after watching this episode, that is interesting. You have a Vanguard that guarantees you the over trigger from your ride deck, meaning that no matter what happens, the OT is bound to come up in the game. So this automatically tells me that I think that all the demand for the OT to be banned in standard, which I already knew that was never going to happen. I, I didn't really, after I made my little discussion on the over trigger, I didn't care for the topic anymore, but the OT is not going to get banned in standard with this coming out. So those dreams, you can, there you go. But honestly, guys, tell me your thoughts about the new cards. Tell me your guys' thoughts about the anime. Have you guys been liking it so far? I know that personally I have. I really am enjoying the storyline. And I was actually really surprised to see Michiru Shook today. I think that as a character and where the story's going and for the next episode, that's going to be Toya versus our um, Blau player. It's going to be really interesting to see. I look forward to reacting to more episodes with you guys. And I'll see you soon. Peace.